Hi everybody in uh, YouTube land, this is Michael Zingar of the 28mm Wargaming Sci-Fi Channel uh, show. <laughs> anyway, you know, I should have thought of a better name for this thing. But anyways, uh, here's a real quick one. Some more Frostgrave finds for uh, monsters. Uh, doing it at El Cheapo uh, Cheap. And, uh, you know, uh, you can use these for any of your other role-playing tech games. Uh, these uh, two bags are uh, basically, you can find them at Dollar General. No, not Dollar General. Dollar Tree, which are all over uh, Chicago. Uh, of course, they uh, cost a buck. And let's see what we got. So, uh, what, what, what I was looking for was cheap spiders. And I thought, you know, hey, Halloween's uh, ways away. I might have to find them someplace else. So let's open up one of these bags and see what goodies we got. All right, so let's dump them out. So uh, you need frost spiders. This will work fine. The detail's pretty decent. You know, uh, just uh, with this guy, you could probably glue him straight to the base because he's flat. I wouldn't bother trimming them at all because they're supposed to be hairy. Uh, there's enough detail where you can convey it, you know, spray, paint it black, um, do a little white dry brushing with gray and white or whatever other color you want to do. And he'll work fine, so. Looks like we got some giant ants. Okay, and, uh, Looks like a giant cockroach. Pretty good for the cockroach, man. And we got them. This I don't have them personally in my house, but I uh, have seen them uh, in Chicago that big. No shit. <laughs> uh, the ants are big enough to be a threat. Let's see. Got another black spider. Another giant cockroach. Another spider in blue. And a spider in red. So I got more spiders than I can shake a stick yet. There's enough where uh, we could do like a spider um, type uh, scenario. Um, I am looking for a little bit bigger spider and then I've got a uh, some of these uh, toys I bought for the grandkids that are fantasy toys, and they got some elf archers. So, uh, if you haven't seen, uh, God, what the heck is that guy's uh, name? There's a uh, a station where a guy takes really crummy toys and uh, does some uh, nice work with them. He's pretty. He's a GM type of guy. But um, I'll put his uh, name and give him a shout out on the uh, next Frostgrave video. And uh, basically he does a real nice, uh, takes a, a Dremel tool, cuts up the plastic figure, glues it to the spider. And makes some really kick-ass looking dryers. Uh, his painting's pretty uh, tabletop-ish. But, uh, you know, he's looking to do a whole dungeon adventure uh, every time. He does a lot of videos, and the guy's funny as hell, so uh, I'll shout out to him. I'll put the name in the, of the videos. Definitely, he does a lot of crafting projects and scours, uh, you know, resale shops and dollar stores and Amazon for the best deals for the cheapest stuff to get his gaming on, so uh, that's what the uh, insect box looks like. Here's a... Uh, the wrapper you're looking for. And they just got to label as creatures, so it should be insects. Uh, these guys also um, put out a uh, war dog box. So uh, definitely pick that up if you're looking for war dogs. Why pay $3 when you can get uh, four or five usable dogs for, you know, uh, 10 cents, 20 cents a piece. All right, so... It's going to be a while, but eventually I'm going to do the uh, Ghost Arpeggios uh, thing, and I know that they need a giant crab. 
because I seen it on a never one of these games. So uh, I don't know how many of these creatures I can use in here, but for a buck, I'll buy a crib for a buck, no problem. So let's open this bad boy up and see what we get. Alrighty. Get some scissors here. There's one of these guys over a little bit. Dump this bad boy out. Come on. All right, so let's uh, look at the most important one first, which is that crab, and he'll work just fine. I uh, do a little bit of dry brushing, drill out his stomach, uh, put him on a real short flight flight base, and uh, he'll work good. And he's a nice hard plastic. Looks like we got a seashell. Uh, you can use some sculpey and make the slug poisonous slug for this, or just use this as a uh, but train looks like we got a uh, octopus here, flying squid maybe. Yeah, use that to fly across the island and knock into a character. That'd be pretty cool. A seahorse with a, something weird on his back. Uh, maybe you could decorate a boat with that because of that little thing right there. You can cut that off. Who knows? Let's see. Got some kind of weird hammer head fish. Maybe they can fly out of the water and knock into a dude. And uh, there's another version of that. And maybe this is like one of those aquatic poison, maybe aquatic poisonous fish. Looks like we got a barracuda. Really small dolphin. Shark. And uh, looks like a grouper. All right, so that one was a little bit more disappointing than the other ones, but uh, getting a crab for a dollar, I'll buy that, no problem, so. Like I said, don't discount the, the toy section for your uh, modeling needs. I mean, how uh, cool does your crab really need to look? Uh, it's pretty damn easy to make a spider look tough with just a paint job. So let your imagination flow. Uh, save your money for the models that are important and uh, for the stuff that you can do cheaply, do it cheaply. All right, uh, let's do the begging thing. Uh, Basically, for you guys who have never seen any one of my videos before, I don't use Patreon or GoFundMe or anything. If you like what I'm doing, please donate any uh, kind of uh, miniature figure or vehicle. It, uh, it's unloved, unwanted, unused. You're not going to paint it. it just uh, Maybe it's from a dead game or something. Uh, basically, I take these uh, miniatures and uh, paint them up and get them ready for uh, these kids at this uh, my neighborhood community center. I make some really simplistic rules and try to invent some more uh, more gamers to uh, keep the hobby going. Uh, these kids are all, uh, they're not super poor, but they're not rich kids either. It's kind of, a, I'm in a lower class, uh, middle class neighborhood. And uh, I, you know, I just want to get these kids reading, doing math, and get them out of the damn uh, iPhones and stuff like that. So... Uh, basically, if you got anything you want to donate, uh, contact me through the comments. I'll email you, and then I'll pay the shipping to get the stuff to Chicago. Uh, your stuff will be featured on a show. Uh, I might do some painting on repainting. If the stuff's uh, painted all the better. If it's not, you know, needs to be stripped down and painted. Don't matter. I'll, I'll take just about anything. All right, enough with the begging already. Uh, Appreciate you guys watching the video, and hopefully uh, this will get you into the uh, dollar stores and toy stores and real shell shops. You know, economize on the small things so you can buy the really cool stuff. That uh, is really impressive, you know. All right, I want to thank everybody for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and uh, 
Tell me about your Frostgrave uh, games and things like that. Make some comments. It, it, even if it's unrelated comment, I love to communicate with y'all. All right, everybody, uh, have a good one, and may the dice be with you.